My understanding is, from being uh, briefed by the department, is that the first submission, as you recall, was the one that was done originally, which we inherited coming into government in November of 2020. That proposal was to dump about 8 to 10 million cubic feet uh, meters of dead material closer to the furnace, and the problem there would have been the impact it would have on the reef, fisheries, and everything else. Well, that was turned down immediately, even though the process still required a consultation, and that happened because that was already, they already had a date for that when we got into government. We had to proceed with it, but it was rejected. And so they immediately turned that around and sent in that new proposal where they were submitting the proposal where that material now would have been a certain percentage of the near shore, a percentage onshore, and a percentage offshore. If you recall, uh, late last year, the letter was sent to them saying that based on the submission that they made, that they were still deficient in some of the requests that had been made by the Department of Environment and NIAC, and that at the time they did not comply. And so the letter stated that they did not get approval at that period in time. The new submission now is one that apparently now looks at the entire area and they are reducing the amount of materials that they will put on one side or the other and most of the material will now be near shore uh, which they will use for the construction of the site. Additionally I think one of the requests that was made originally which they did not provide was to provide sort of a retaining wall for that material and now they have submitted to this new proposal some mechanism that will retain the material that they will be putting me ashore.